Let's think about this. You're tasked with evenly spreading pieces of meat around a pizza. One way would be to do it visually, but a much more advanced solution would be to do it programmatically. If we think about it, the tricky part of the problem essentially tapers into randomly placing each piece within a pizza of a given radius. The way that comes to mind first is to try to keep randomly placing the piece of meat within the 2r by 2r rectangle while the distance from the center of the pizza to the piece is higher than r. It's pretty easy to estimate the average chance that a piece is placed within the pizza. The chance is the area of the circle divided by the area of the 2r by 2r rectangle. If we simplify the expression, we get pi divided by 4, which means that this is roughly the chance that a piece is within the pizza. It doesn't look very low, but if we calculate the chance of even two consecutive pieces appearing beyond the pizza, we'll notice that it's so low the method isn't even that useless. But look, much as the chance of serious failure is negligibly low, it is still a chance. Is there a way to guarantee 100% success? There certainly is, and to implement it, we'll need to use trigonometry. But let's go step by step. Well, first we need to get a random radius from 0 to the radius of the circle. Now we know which ring will be given the piece. And then we need to pick a random point on the ring. If we run the algorithm enough times, we'll notice that the pieces are on average close to the center. But why? Let's observe the analogy of rings with points. If the rings expanded, the distance between any two points grows too, so the density decreases. Now that we've settled that this isn't some sort of mistake, we have to find a way around this limitation. First, let's notice that picking a random radius between 0 and max r is the same as taking a random part of max r between 0 and 1. Why not experiment with the way of choosing a random part? If we raise it to the power of 0, we get max r, because any number to the power of 0 is 1. Let's jump up by a lot and raise it to the power of 1. That actually does nothing. But wait, what if we choose a power right between the point when they're all on the edge and the point when they're densely put around the center? The power right between the two is 1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.5. A number to the power of 0 0.5 is equivalent to the square root of this number. And ultimately, we're left with this expression. Let's make sure it works as desired, and it does.